your life Made me react when I snatch your chain Nigga, it's on sight If you talking all that shit You wanna fucking text When I pull What's up? I'm in with the nigga This is my nigga Go What's good, go What's good, like good yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, bro? And I'm chilling, enjoying my night. <laughs> I feel you, G. My bad to interrupt the the. Uh, I had to slide my way in the, you know. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> but it's nah, all right. <laughs> so yeah, so tell the folk what you do, where you from, who you with. Uh, my name, is, my name is MK Gool. I'm from Fontana, California. And I particularly just rap. And I play a couple other instruments. I play drums and piano. Um, I play basketball. Well, used to, almost. But yeah. <laughs> Dope. Dope. Like, what inspired you to want to, you know, make music? Hmm. What well, really, like inspired me to make music was like I'm about to say like too much. I'm not going to do that right now. Okay. <laughs> what really inspired me to make music was the overwhelming fact of how much music was in my life basically because I was just surrounded with all types of music just hip hop, jazz, blues, country, EDM, trap, extra music and then Basically came middle school, I decided to just be like, you know, why not take initiative? Because I started freestyling, rap really caught my eye. And then I was just surrounded by a lot of East Coast rap, West Coast rap. So I might I might as well just put myself in that category. You hear me? Yeah. So then a lot a lot through that time I practiced a lot of writing, a lot of poetry. And then there that's when I realized that rapping was poetry. So I might as well just like, you know, why not do boom bap? all this extra stuff like West Coast, East Coast rap. So I'm always looking up tight beats on my computer, on my phone, anything like that, anything I could just rap to. And then I always freestyle at school. And then that's how I got, like I I got through a series of names from when I was actually doing it. Cause like when I started, I think my first name, my first name was Jam Gardens. Yeah. And then along with that, after that came Jam Lucid. Then after that came Lucid. And then it was another name, named Lord Skull, and then came MK Goo. That's what you have. <laughs> Dope shit. I was about to, I was just about to ask you where your name came from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, in in uh in uh in to me a different question. Do you get uh mixed up with people like Ghoulie a lot or like anything? Does that ever happen? I gotta be honest. I hate that, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I hate that, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like every time, like every time, every time, they always mention like, "Oh yeah, have you heard of MK Ghoul?" Then they're just like, "Ghoulie?" You know, like, nah, <laughs> like, no, not Ghoulie, like MK Ghoul. Because I, I notice how, like, I notice how, uh, like, me and him, like, they barely told me about him, like, when I was starting out. Mm -hmm. So. I was, I was sitting I was like, man, should I really, like, change my name or something? Because I was close to changing my name to just Ghoul. And then they would have got that confused with Ghoulie. So I was just like, nah, I'm going to keep MK. <laughs> MK Ghoul. Like, I originated this name. You can't take it from me. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Shout out. Shout out Ghoulie, though. But, uh, damn. That's funny as hell. Name some of, like, your uh, musical inspirations. Um, um, uh, uh, like, rappers and shit. My yep, I'm my fault. My my phone went to FaceTime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what is <laughs> my first music inspiration? I don't know because back then I was mainly like, I was mainly like an old head because I listened to like a lot of old school music. Mm -hmm. So like back then, probably like my inspiration would probably be like Big L. Like Big L, I like I like a lot. Like, the way he rapped and all that, it just made me feel like, whoa, like, he's really into this. <laughs> so, like, it will be him. And then my second one will probably be Ty, the creator. And uh, the third one, 
Third one probably be Earl. And then fourth probably X. And then fifth will probably be like I don't know. Fifth in a way for like like um rock or probably I'd be like Nirvana or something, some type of band. I don't know. I had it in my head and I forgot it. But I know the first choice Nirvana, so I'm gonna just choose Nirvana. Because the way they the way they carry their grunge style just makes me like it made me like very like let into rock because like I really like rock a lot. Like my favorite band is Foo Fighters. I love I love Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters, yeah. True shit. Yeah, true shit. I love Foo Fighters. Okay, so speaking of X, like, what was his like impact on, uh, like? As for you as an artist, like, do you feel you had like a connection to X or anything? And like during this passion, like, what did you feel? If there's anything, I mean, I actually did, cause like a lot of the time when I was just noticing who he was around twenty, around twenty sixteen to twenty seventeen to now, it made me really. It showed me how you can be the most. You can, it showed me a lot how you can really be the most terrible person in the world and still can change. Like, there's there's not really an impossibility for you to not change because he made an impact on a lot of the youth because now what the youth is trying to do, they're trying to do better for the community rather than just tear it all apart and just think the whole world is about hate. So, like, it makes me feel like I can do, if not, if I can't do a lot, I can do a good majority of what he was doing. You know me? Facts. So like, I'd rather categorize, like, I. the whole point of me doing rap was for me to be a motivational speaker. I wanted to be a speaker for the youth. I but, like, that. yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm trying to do as as myself. But, like, as long as long with this rap is going, rap is going pretty well. Just, <laughs> I'm starting to get a good, recognition like i'm starting to get up there like i know i'm a beginning artist but i'm starting to get up there That's and hopefully dope. i can just get further to the top <laughs> Bro, i see you i see you freestyle on that bitch nigga. i be flossing i be flossing i be flossing i be flossing fire 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 are you in rest so like What's that like? What's th- tell me about that that rat shit. What's up with rats, bro? <laughs> <laughs> um, me being a rat definitely changed my view on a lot of things in music. Cause like <clears throat> being being a rat, I remember the day I I remember the my voice cracked. <laughs> I remember the day I was first introduced to rat. Cause the first time I the first person I met that was actually in rat was Tech. And then that was my, that was because I believe you heard. Of, you have have I heard what? Garden. Garden, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, Garden is like Garden is like one of my brothers. Like I fuck with him heavy. Like he lives in the, like he lives in the same neighborhood I live in. So like, yeah. So I I fuck with him a lot. So I was in his I was in his Discord one day, and it was me and uh, Lost Dark Rider. Well, well known now as Kathers. And oh, yeah. Tekken. Uh-huh. So that's why I met Tekken that and then Tekken was telling me all about Rhett. She was like, Yeah, you're pretty good. Blah, blah, blah. I don't remember exactly how it went, but like I'm just giving you a gist. The like he was telling me about how it went and I was like, Yo, can I be in the Discord and all this stuff? Because he's telling me about the Discord and then I was just like, Okay, like I'm down to be in there. So he put me in there. That's when I met the whole Wretch gang and however how how the whole thing was. And then that's when I met Sai. Sai was pretty damn cool. Like, when I first met Sai, I was like, damn, this nigga, this nigga had a deep ass voice, but all right. <laughs> Sai, that nigga. Shout out Sai. Cool. And Tekken. But, like, yeah, they're like, the whole clique is so good. Like, I'm happy that I'm in Rush because the whole is full of talents and artists and not bullshitters, bro. Yeah. That's what I want. That's what I always wanted. And then just the fact that, like, I'm grateful for what they have now because they're the ones that are putting me out there. You hear me? Yeah. Like if I can't, if I can't do it myself. They're there to help me. Fact. So I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for what they're doing. Like, of course I am. Cause like I'm, a, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there until it ends. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fuck up at all. <laughs> True shit, bro. I, I, yeah, Rex, bro. I love Rex. Can't even yeah. lie about that, man. Dope, yeah, cause man. I can say myself. I can say myself that right now in the underground, 
Wretch is the most organized and the most, like, probably the most talented collective in Underground. Like, no cap. Definitely. No cap at all, bro. Because, yeah, <laughs> like, every other collective, like, every other collective I see has, like, some nitpicking and do at, and then they'll just be all fucked up. You get me? And all corrupted and all messed up and all over. But, like, side, beside does his shit, side knows how to work. Like when he when he's there, he's there. He knows how to do his shit, bro. So it's Tekken. Yeah. Tekken knows how to organize too. Free and free. Shout out to Free. Everybody. Yeah. Serious, most serious. That's not even a word. I said serious, here, bro. Serious topic. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, uh. So, what's your idea of like beef? You know, like that that shit. Since we're talking about collectors and stuff, like, what's your idea on that? Like, in the underground as a whole. Collective beef. Um, not even just that. Artists too. Just artists. You know, artists beefing with each other. Some people beefing their own collective, which is weird, but they do. <laughs> yeah. Like uh. Mainly what I what I view on that will probably be um me myself, I don't like doing that. I'll try not to get into beefs like that. I try to cool with everybody. But then there's also those people that you cannot just dodge. They'll just nitpick at every single last thing that you do. So that that's what causes it. Yeah. <clears throat> Bro, I'm a YouTuber really? and it happens to me. <laughs> it yeah. happens to me. I don't do anything. But yeah, go ahead, bro. I just gotta add that in there. <laughs> yeah. Like, literally, just the whole idea of beef, bro, like, cut the, bro. Like, <laughs> like, there's a lot of times, like, there's a certain time and place where you can beef, and there's a certain time and place where you can't. If you're just nitpicking at, like, oh, oh, he stole my flow, or he did this, he did that, I'm like, fuck out of here, bro. Like, calm down with that. Yeah. Like, but if it's, like, if they're, like, trying to, target you for something that you didn't do if they're trying to target you for something that's like very personal that they know about you then i guess that's the time for me to like you know put you and then like put them in their place you get me facts yeah because like i don't want people i don't want people to sit there and just be beefing over some retarded ass shit like oh this nigga's making money off of what the fuck i do like if they're making money off what the fuck you do they found inspiration off of you like just take that into consideration like they don't need to give credit. Like I, if myself, if they're copying my style, if they're trying to jock what I'm doing, bro. Like if it goes way too far, then I'll probably say something. You get me? Yeah. But if it's like there and then they're they're trying to like find some type of inspiration from it, like nah, like go, like, go ahead. That's cool. I don't care. Right. But like, but like beefing, like I feel like beefing needs to have a reason to it, not an unnecessary reason, but a good reason for it. Right. Cause like if you, cause if you go and just tell me like, oh yeah, you stole my, my flow, you did this, you did that, I'm like, all right, well, I don't care, my bad, blah blah blah, like <laughs> there's no point for that. But if you go and like point, like saying like, oh yeah, I'm gonna kill your family, I'm gonna do this, I'm blah blah blah, like now nah, you need to shut the fuck up. That's where you need to put that in your place. You get me? Yeah, it's too far for music, too far for music. Yeah, cause yeah. like every, every everybody can put things in the underground that don't need to be there, and it's too far fetched type shit. You get me? Yeah, right. Like, rec- like recently, like I just dropped a song called Evil. Literally, the song Evil is explaining what I've experienced in Unreal Far. Hmm. So like it's basically it's basically I had I had a line in there. I had I had a couple lines in there where it was saying like, um, I said, well lately I've been seeing devils in the underground. Really got me thinking if this music shit is worth the while. I nearly found a purchase. Thought to my recognition, my mama just said I'm worth it. Who in the fuck is the people telling me that I'm stupid? Saying that violence was the answer. Now he's dead stupid. Dump this dude out. We'll find a reason why these niggas really chilling up when all this all my mental is the murder to a vengeful escape. They go check. Because they're moving on, you move it slow. Suzanne niggas will do the most. They run your pockets an alleyway. Now this motherfucker will never pray for. <laughs> free bars <laughs> yeah bro like the whole that whole line is a center base of what i'm talking about in the underground like when i said see my niggas running with the zan niggas be doing the most basically saying like niggas is doing drugs just to like get away from certain shit they trying to do drugs just to pass by at the popular ones in underground just or make it seem like as if they just or probably if they have personal problems and they're just putting their drugs out on the internet, just still making it known. Yeah. 
then then I said they run your pockets out again, poked up an alleyway. Niggas basically niggas that have flex are gonna get caught. Basically, yeah. Yeah, niggas that flex are gonna get caught. So either way, you're gonna something's gonna happen to you. And then I reference death because niggas be getting killed over the, and it's annoying. Like it's dumb. Like literally no reason. Hmm. So it made it so it made me feel like it made me feel like yo. When I said, mate, like, really got me thinking this music shit is worth a while, it really made me think, like, like, well, okay, what if I do this shit? And then I specifically put a brand new Audi R8 on the internet, and then they're just like, oh, he's flexing. Where does he live at? Like, niggas that put their location in this shit. Like, no, I'm not going to do that. Like, all oh, that shit's just retarded. <laughs> yeah. True shit. Yeah, I'd rather keep my shit. I'd rather, I'd rather keep my shit secluded than anything like that. Hmm. How do you feel about like drugs and like you know like the the topic of music like the negative topic and especially in like the underground music like violence and drugs and you know it's a it's a bad influence it's a bad influence as a whole X's death made everybody realize flexing drugs being negative fighting all that is stupid like you're not supposed to do that shit like that's there's it's not worth it. so it made other people realize that we got to do good. So that makes them go out and do something good for the community, whether it's giving back to the homeless, whether it was going to uh, an orphanage or something, whether if it's like buying things for people, it's just something just to help out. You get me? Yeah. Pick up trash or something like that. You get me? It's and then rappers, rappers are just making it worse by doing mainstream rap. Like, I understand that. That's going to get you views. But think about the other fact of it, of where people are easily, basically by your words. Like, people's words are powerful. Like, if you have power in your voice, you have power in your words. You using that as a reference, saying, oh, I fuck bitches, I pop dance for the bitches. Like, no, like, we cannot do that. Because <laughs> I don't do that. My niggas don't do that. We cannot do that. Yeah. That's just not cool. Like, there's no reason, though. How would, how did, how does MK Ghoul, like, how would you classify MK Ghoul's music? Like, how do you classify your music? <coughs> um... How would I classify my music? Yeah. Um, I basically how I classify my music is just it's whatever. I don't know. I could probably say I'm a poet. <laughs> as far as right now, I could probably say I'm a poet. Like I'll say whatever the fuck is on my mind or however the fuck I fear. Like I'll I'll say I'll say any worldly problems. I'll say problems I were never spoke of. I'll just say things that are about me, about my mind state. Like, it yeah. don't matter. Yeah, true. So I can get to be a poet in a way. Or as far as right now, just or as far as right now, just a rapper. <laughs> I'll accept rappers. That's new. I never heard, just heard someone say poet though. That's a new one. All right, so this one is blatant, bro. I gotta, I gotta ask you this, man. You my dog. What? What's up? Is your fashion, bro? What is your style? How do you flex your clothes, my nigga? My fashion, <laughs> to, be honest, to be honest, my fashion is basically how should I put it? Something that is for street, not for TV. What I mean by that is like <clears throat> things for streets, no designer. Completely cut off designer, hmm. and and I'll I'm simplistic because I like to have things that make me. You hear me? Yeah. So I I rather have that, but that doesn't mean like no hype be shit like getting Yeezys and shit. Because me personally, I think Yeezys are ugly. Yeah, I, <laughs> I really I like Yeezys. <laughs> Yeezys yeah, Yeezys ugly. But list Yaga's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it, bro. But hey, fuck it. <laughs> oh, true shit, true shit. You always, you I, every time I see you, you got the do rag on. Why right? you, you use like ski mask, little? Bro. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> Man, what is it? Any the only you? reason why I have like, because I literally have like other do rags that literally look like them. Like it literally is just the same color, just a different do rag. <laughs> Damn, that's all game. But like, one. but like. Was it I only wear it right now because right now I keep getting I keep getting braids like I get cornrows in my head so like so like people don't understand how like waves aren't like these are not only meant for waves yeah 
like they're meant for putting down bantu knots, making your braids neat, doing all all that specific, bro. Yeah, and especially but, like, like especially when you sleep, because like your hair like falls out of you laying a regular pillow, like it just helps keep that shit in. I I wear it too, but I only wear it yeah. to sleep. So, yeah, so true shit. Okay, okay. So yeah, like. It would only people only think like only for like wave caps and right not a wave cap, bro. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, um, who would you want to collab with in the future? An artist, and they could be underground or main or mainstream, or just you know people not even in scene. Anyone who you want to work with? Uh, in the future, yeah. Number one will probably be. Tyler the Creator. Two, Earl. <laughs> of course, Earl. Three. Hmm. Three will probably be Grim Dozer. I'll fuck with Grim Dozer heavy, so I'll probably Grim Dozer. Uh, I have a couple other ones. Four, I want to collab with uh, Frank Ocean. Hmm. Five, I wanna collab I wanna collab with Kanye. And then and, six and, and make a diss to Drake. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'll fuck with Drake. <laughs> uh six. I mean the the six I'll probably I wanna work with nineteen seventy five. 1975 is fire, so I, w- I want to work with 1975. I'm not familiar. I gotta look them up. I gotta do some research. Now. It's an indie band. <laughs> okay, I gotta look them up. I gotta look them up. Bro. Yeah, 1975. Um, who, who is? Um, one more. Um, one more I'll say probably be hmm. <laughs> say life, say life. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, bro. As the idiot, as the idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, those are the people I collab with. I want to collab with. Okay, dope. That's some dope shit. And you will because you're MK Ghoul. <laughs> On the rise, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> rise, my son. <laughs> rise, my son. <laughs> All right, some fun questions, and I'm going to ask you a few more, and then I'll let you have the rest of your day. Uh, but I'm gonna still hit you up later, and this is not my only interview. I tell everybody that because it's true. We're interviewing again when you're bigger <laughs> and and have more shit. Because you can't leave me sure. in the dust, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not trying to, bro. I'm, I'm fucking with you. I, I know I'm fucking with you. So, all right. So yeah. So some fun questions. <clears throat> I still haven't done it yet, and people are gonna be upset at this. I haven't watched anime yet. <laughs> But what is your favorite anime? <laughs> uh, top favorite, number one. No other anime beats this anime. Will probably be Naruto. Okay, okay. No other anime beats that anime. Like for me, that I have a soul connection with Naruto, bro. <laughs> you I like swear, Maki, I do on everything. You sound like Maki. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, on everything. I have a soul connection with Naruto, bro. Every time I watch Naruto, bro, I get so emotional. Like, it's yeah. crazy. You crying now? And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, <I'm> crying. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, be on some John Legend shit. <laughs> oh. I'll be crying like shit. But, um, hmm. Uh, Probably my second favorite one is Mob Psycho. Mob Psycho is fire. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Mob... You gotta watch it. <laughs> I know, man. Mob Psycho is fire. Uh, uh, Parasite is a parasite. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, may sound ironic, but Tokyo Ghoul. <laughs> that, that, he said it. He said it. <laughs> How about hey. the Tokyo Ghoul? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll give you, uh, how many did I name? Three? Yeah. yeah. I need three? All right. Two more. Um, Two more. I'll say uh, One Punch Man also. That's one. Uh, fifth one. Probably be. Damn. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Shit. Damn. Bitch. I'll just say it basically. I'm probably like Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan's fire too. Okay. Like, I thought it was, I thought it was Aaron for like a good two months. Cause just watching that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Cause that nigga turns into like a big ass tight when he's angry. It's like, bitch, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Oh damn! I gotta catch up on these. I gotta watch these shit. Everybody talk about it. Everybody talk about it. Uh, yeah. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> you have a favorite like comic book hero? I'm in the comics, so that's my personal question. Favorite comic book? Um. Oh no! What was the last comic I actually read? It was a, it was a Marvel comic with fucking. It was where it was this one. Or fucking Wolverine and Hulk were beefing and shit, and they're fighting. Oh, I know that. I know that. What you talking about? Yeah, that one was fire. Like yeah. that was one of my favorite one. Cause yeah. what is it? Um, fuck that one dude. Like yeah. he was in a cave and shit, and then that nigga's like all big and white. Nigga looks like a Sasquatch in a way. I know you talking about. Uh, uh not Manape. You not talking about Manape? Mm. No. See, like, no, but I remember he was in that. I don't know. You sure? It's not uh uh, what's his name? Umbaku? It's not Umbaku. Mm mm. I don't know. What you talking about that? Because like he can turn human. Because he can turn human, and then he can oh. go back to his other form. Who does that? <coughs> I I I'm, I feel disgraced. I usually I usually know Marvel comics. I don't know about that one. I can't remember that. I know. I think I know what you're talking about. That. I don't know. I'm a, I'm I'm gonna figure out later, and I'm gonna just tell you later. Yeah, <laughs> I bet, can't figure bet. it out. Bet. Yeah. Yeah. Man. So your favorite? You say Wolverine is your favorite? Wolverine is my favorite Marvel character out of all characters. Dope shit. Yeah. I dope. fuck with Wolverine heavy. Wolverine's my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> He's dope, bro. Basic ass niggas would probably be like, "Oh, I fucking I love Deadpool, blah blah. I love him, the Captain America." Like, hey, I like yeah, you go, you go, you go. These niggas gonna sit here and say that they like Captain America, but they don't remember how Captain America tried to choke a robot. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And he was he joined Hydra, but I, I only like the movie version. I think the movies Cap is Cap. That I love the movie Cap. I can't stand the comic Cap. <laughs> Especially his costume, bro. That nigga got the feathers hanging off his head. That shit looks. That stupid. shit was fire. Oh god, you like that, that shit? shit? <laughs> yeah, that shit was fire. The comic, bro. That shit look weird to me. It looked like he got like scales on his suit. I don't like that. <laughs> I like the movie version better, but I love the movie version. I don't know about this comic nigga. He on some gay shit. <laughs> but uh, let me see. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? That's interesting. I want to know that. A superpower? Yeah, if you got one. You only have one. What would it be? I have one. Probably. Hmm. Oh, the one I have would probably be telekinesis. Like moving shit with your mind? Like, basically, telekinesis, like, they say it falls under one thing because they say, oh, you can move shit just like this over here, like this over there. No, but like, the reason why I choose telekinesis is because you can do a lot with just that one thing, telekinesis. Because like if you if you actually seen like how people like how telekinesis would have been used, telekinesis be can be used to move and to basically like you can you can do just a lot like with just even without moving like you can create explosions, side balls if you want like side balls would probably be like if you've seen Renegon. In Naruto, that's basically like a representation of what a cyborg would look like, but except it wouldn't be all like big and bright and shit. It would be like invisible, you know, have some sort of shit. Huh. like that shit. Like I seen how, like I studied on that shit. That's just crazy. Like you can do a lot with it. You can make yourself levitate just by even doing it. Yeah, I know so that. you can basically, yeah, you, you can basically fly just doing it. Damn, I didn't know you could make like 
If you say <laughs> I, I, they have other names though, isn't that like psycho? Not, not psycho. Yeah, isn't it like pyrokinesis and like psychokinesis and shit like that? There's other types of forms. Pyro, right? pyro, pyro, psycho are elemental forces. Force, oh. Like you can <laughs> you can control like different elements with that shit. Yeah. Okay. So telekinesis. I gotta look at what you're talking about. Then that's interesting. That's the most interesting yeah. thing I heard. Man, I always say teleportation because I feel like I have the most uses for that. Like teleportation for me would <laughs> be dope, bro. I can just wherever I need to go. Like, nigga, I'm there. <laughs> like, especially when I was in school, bro. I was late. Oh, just put my my clothes on, bro. I'm in there, bro. <laughs> mm-hmm. But but that's just me. But yeah, it's telekinesis. I'm looking at that. That's different. That's different. Uh, let me see. Let me think. I'm looking at my looking at my list. List of questions. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think I. Anything you feel like I left out, bro? Anything? Huh? Anything? Anything you feel like I've left out as far as questions? Um, you don't know. Don't Any, know. <laughs> anything that you just want to like, you know, want to ask anything? Or not ask, but say. I'm sorry. Anything you want to say? Anything I want to say? Mm-hmm. Um, so anything you feel like I left out? Anything? Like, whatever. I really don't know. No, no. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. But I'm going to ask you, because this ain't the last time I'm going to interview you, so you have time to do it again. But, you know. Uh, so I'm going to ask you my last two questions, and I'm going to let you go ahead and uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. But I am going to DM you and bully you a lot because you're my nigga. <laughs> but, uh, <Yeah. laughs> uh, so last two things I'm going to ask. Where, what, do we, what can we expect from Ghoul and the – in the future, both near and, and distant. All I'm going to say right now, because I don't want to fully give it away, is you're going to see some explosive shit. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> all you're going to see, you're going you're gonna to see me pop. That's all you're going to I know. Like, you got to tell them. That, I know. Within, within, within a year or two, within a year or two, you're going to see me pop. This nigga. Yeah. And I'm, I'm gonna be doing a lot of shit. I'm telling you. <laughs> Facts. I can't wait, yeah. bro. I can't wait. That's- All right. So last thing, um, where can we find your music? I'll have everything in the description. But like, where can we find your music? And how um, can we support you? I recently took my music off of Spotify and Apple, mm-hmm. but you can find my music on SoundCloud. So yeah, at MK Google. <laughs> Bet. All right, bro. Well, like I said, much love. You know, you're one of my friends. So, you know, this is a fun. This was fun for me. <laughs> so, yeah, bro. Much love. You always, always my brother. Can always hit me up. You know that. For so, sure. Yeah, bro. So yeah, so <coughs> I got you. I'm gonna have your stuff in the description. Y'all can check him out. And uh, thank you, bro. Thank you for this opportunity. <laughs> it was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> Peace out, right, ghoul. Bro.